Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy Alex Sport Faza and today I'm with Rez. Sean Rez, 5-0. 5-0 because this is the body fat that he holds. Not just body fat, also just the style of training. So extremely shredded person. I saw him in the gym. I know that he's from uh, Mike's crew. The moment I saw him, I'm like, I gotta get with this guy. I gotta get information from him, how he eats, how he trains. It's gonna be, I hope, not too painful. Uh, we'll see. We'll see about it. <laughs> so enjoy the video. See you guys. That's how you get traded. You guys that's, that's how, you guys need are. to do a lot of supersets, yeah. high reps. Yeah, so what Look is at this big? <laughs> God damn it. Look at this. That's crazy. When you do high reps, mm -hmm. you attacking the fibers, small ones that don't work. Because mm -hmm. those are like burns to the high reps, mm -hmm. not heavy. At the same time, it considers cardio because imagine doing 50 reps, minimum breaks in between, your heartbeat goes up, towel goes on, you're sweating more, and basically it's a cardio, same time lifting. This is, this is one way that could have a right combination of diet with this. It's the best way to stay shredded and lean. This separation all comes through like high reps. If I start doing heavy reps, you and see... high reps, you mean like uh, 15 or you mean like 5 -0. 40? Uh, 50, 50, 5 0. Each set. Each set. <laughs> 5 0. That's real high reps. Yeah. That's real high reps. <laughs> Usually people consider so 20 cannot, high reps. Yeah. I can't say that I enjoy that. Yeah. You have to be prepared for this torture. I think I prefer to work with heavy weights, less, less time under tension, you know? But the body is not used to it. And now fat Alex. <laughs> Comparing to this guy, everyone's fat. So what you have on your shirt, yeah, 105% body fat. It's that's like a five your, it's your merch. It's my like brand, yeah, my name. Really? Yeah. That's the philosophy, the way of living. Lifestyle, it's not a diet. I don't call it a diet, it's a certain way of living. But not, not everybody needs to get on the 5%. So people that who are doing this, healthier. You have a better skin, better hair, better lifestyle, more energy. And that's your choice. Hundred reps, each exercise. Each exercise, yeah. hundred reps. Yeah. And how often do you train abs? Every day. Every day. Every day. I have like two, three different routines. Fifteen minutes max. You start with this. I I finish it. So hundred reps each exercise, and every day you do one exercise. No. How many exercises? So I do three, three two rounds. Total hundred reps. Yes. No. Each 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 round. Each, each no. Each set. How? How is it possible? <laughs> so it, it makes like 300 reps in one round? Yes. You see abs. If you have enough uh, strength, if you have enough energy after yeah. this workout, can you show us yeah. one yeah. of your of routines course, of for course. your abs? Of course. You see abs is different. Abs is, is a muscle. It gets built in the high reps. It's like calves versus other one. You need to do more high reps than yeah. just have. So what do we do next? So Again, pressing? Or? No, now the same thing you did, the close grip. After each one, I take 30 seconds to one minute. Okay. I well, usually try to get okay, it This one is fucked up because no, of the filming, talk, but yeah, can we do second yeah. set, like second yeah. round, like real yeah. one? Let's grab all the dumbbells. We're gonna do the same weights? Uh, For well, second round? Yeah. Okay, here. Get up again. 
get it. There we go. So now those clothes are here. Keep it tight like that. Go straight. There you go. Guys, that's painful, I'm telling you. No matter how light the way it is, yeah. pain is constant, you know? So you have to be able to deal with pain. Yeah, and then pain starts usually halfway through the training. And that's where everything happens. You know, that's where the pumps start, burning fat starts, and building a start that you need to focus and just go through it. Shit! Ah. Let's get back to heavy weights. By the way, I broke my record in bench pressing about this year. Okay, you're a beast. Yeah, 385. Oh, yeah. 385 pounds. You're a beast. Yeah. And getting to four plates. Yeah. On my way to four plates. You see somebody like training like you, you can't do high reps. You have to do heavy reps. And you have to eat different. Why? Because... For power. I'm trying to combine for, for two. power. But oh I yeah, you can. But yeah. If you just focus on the bench press, yeah. how much you want to weigh? You never see a bench presser Champions, the rip. Yeah, yeah. You never see it. It's all the way around. Whoever is thicker wins. So you need a thick body, you need thick muscles, thick joints. So, you know, go through all that pain yeah. at one time. But it's that same guy, you cannot come no, with you. You're going through the pain with high reps. Yeah. You, you're you yeah. not going through anything when you're doing one rep. No. It's no. just a mental yes. thing to be concentrated yes. enough to explode within exactly. this second. So it's completely different animal. Yeah. But this one is more painful, <laughs> that's for sure. A lot of pain. Now we're going to do a fly, different kind of fly. Do the upper chest, putting this all the way down. Upper chest. <laughs> in the focus size, two really dark presses. Yeah. and two different flies. Mm -hmm. So we do the stretch, pump, stretch, pump. So on this, the back stays like that, pump go up, okay. yes. Nice. How many reps? Five oh man, Evan is five. What? Stop this five oh thing. Five oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too heavy for me. Come on, See, this guy is a powerful guy. He has, this is not about power. Uh, this is about strength. Uh, if somebody can run uh, a quarter of my, like uh, 100 feet so fast, but he can't do the marathon. Uh, this is a marathon. Uh, this is a marathon of what it is. Uh, if you pay attention, people who run the marathon, they're the uh, shreddest. And people do the runs short term uh, distance. They're huge, big legs. The same guy cannot do the march. Sprinter and те, которые те, которые бегают на марафонский. It's all about endurance, right? Yeah, all about endurance. Yeah. yeah. Crossfit of bodybuilding. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> guys, start with martial arts. Martial arts are what I speak. Kung Fu, the Taekwondo. That's why I never had a big legs. Because Taekwondo is all about the speed of the legs. You know how fast you can uh -huh. kick. You know how strong you can kick. So I never need to get the leg bigger because yeah. when you get bigger you get slower always as a kid I started when I was seven years old doing martial arts and from the age of 13 yeah. I started doing both Jean-Claude Van Damme was my auto really Jean-Claude Van Damme have you met him in Gold's Gym yet not yet no. I haven't met him in Gold's Gym <laughs> 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 I know he's I see this videos in the bathroom taking video of himself <laughs> So basically we have four movements, right? So movements. regular press, yeah. then flies, yeah. then narrow grip press, yeah. and then flies from the cables. Yeah. These four different movements, what is the rest between them? 30 to one minute. So it's all one round. 
It's all in one round. Four, four different moves, yes, one yes. round. So eventually it comes to 200 reps because each movement has like 50 reps in it. Giant set of four different exercises combined in one. So it's not for everyone. That's that's something insane. 600 because we're doing three three rounds. It comes down to 600 reps, and uh, that's it for chess, right? That's all for chess. Yeah. yeah. The most thinking. important thing, you know, for for our followers. Let's let's clarify that. Uh, you're not building muscle with this style of, with do. this type of training. So you're, you're only getting shredded, right? No, no, totally wrong. I build lean muscle mass. Something like Arnold said. He said, if you're lucky, you can gain five pounds of muscle naturally in one year. Yeah. Lean muscle. Last year I was 198. Three percent body fat in body measurement. Smaller. Yeah. Mostly on my legs. What's weight now? Now I am 202. 198, 202, so it's 202, plus 4. Yeah, about 4 or 5 pounds. Yeah. Same body fat. I put the picture up. You see it? No. How different look? You tell me. Oh, so you just posted it. This is my girl now. <laughs> but you see the shoulders? Yeah. It's crazy. Like, I had the fibers. This fiber, it just got I'll wider, I'll thicker. Yeah. 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 Huge, huge. Yeah, this was to the shoulder guy. Yeah. Only five pounds mm -hmm. So it takes longer. That's where you see the line, that's where you see the shred, that's where you see all this separation, is because of, you know, building more muscle fiber. They're just a pump into the muscle cell. That is something special. I, I can imagine train like that all life. Well, it's, a ment it's all mindset. Yeah, you, know, you have really, to get used to it yes, too. Yes, you have to get used to it. You have to have a reason for it, you have to believe it. If you don't believe it, you can't see it. Ah. You burn a lot more energy. I really want to like want to measure how many calories I burn through this. Come on, come on. Nice. Well, he's doing it wrong. I tell you what. <laughs> he's doing lower chest. No, no, no. I'm pulling this, up. Yeah, but this like more is good, but it's more right here. I didn't feel it from lower, yeah, yeah. lower chest at all, no. So the one he was doing is great. Yeah, of course, you feel it everywhere. But I like to use this for lower. I'm not saying I have a big chest, but that's how it works for me. But the one I do, I bring it up from the top. Yeah. I just like... From the top to the top. Yes, top from the top, you stretch it right here. And very important, you take, a lot of people do it, but they bring the shoulders in. Uh -huh. Try to take the shoulders out of the yeah. equation. Get a stretch all the way back. It's not important going from here to here because it's more, it's like more shoulder. But this, the last thing you stretch is the most important. Outside. It's connected to the shoulder. Yeah, that there, that there. old school uh, movements for chess like Arnold used to do pullovers when he did flies he went with dumbbells he went all the way down like stretching all the fucking way back and then flexing it no I haven't I haven't the pullback I don't do it and stretching when I do I will do it with the machine with the that machine sitting so so I put a little foam here yeah rolling foam between your yes, back plate? right here, back plate. So when I do it, I stretch all the way back. And is there more room, give me all the way back. Like when I'm pulling all the way back, I can bring it forward. This is yeah. great. So in the days that I do flat bench, this is gonna be one of the exercises for fly. I always change it. For even for upper chest, I have two, three different exercises, routines. Uh -huh. I change them around, so the body not getting used to it. So high reps is the basis of your uh, workouts, yes, so the training routines. The, the 5-0 training. How often do you incorporate uh, low reps trainings? Never. Never. I always try to stay at high reps. Even when you train with Mike, you still Well, do... we train with Mike. Usually I train with Mike mostly for legs and deadlift. Yeah. But uh, on upper body, uh, no, I just work my own system. Everything 50. Yeah. You work what you want to work on. 
Not what people tell you to. You wanna get shredded like grass? You do high red. Друзья, сегодня хочу вам рассказать о такой добавке, как альфа-липолевая кислота. Очень классная штука, само собой у меня продукт от MyProtein, моего спонсора. Что она делает? Она выводит радикалы тяжелых металлов, то есть э, то, что, в общем-то, ответственно за старение организма. Поддерживает печень и иммунитет. Отличная добавка, если есть возможность, настоятельно рекомендую. MyProtein, ссылка на сайт MyProtein, как всегда, в описании под этим видео. Промокод SFASA, как всегда, дает вам скидку на всю продукцию сайта. А теперь возвращаемся к видео. Social media likes shredded people and strong people. That's why Mike is so popular because he's one of the very few people who's shredded and who's strong at the same time. Usually, and it's not just all, all one thing just about Mike. Mike is not. Of course just, not. No. His most important what I learned from him, absorbed from him, is about his knowledge. But a lot of bodybuilders, they're good what they do. They cannot coach. You cannot just be a coach just because you have a nice body. Who can understand the client's body? Yeah, that's the hardest thing to do, because what I eat, what I do, might not work for you, might not work for Mike, and vice versa. So how can like somebody message me? Oh, can you send me your diet? I'm like, listen, if I give my diet, you're gonna die. It does not work for you because you don't have the same body type, you don't train like me, same genetic, and same background. You just start working. I've been training and my body been used to this for 25 years. Mm. Just one of the things. There are so many pros, they still don't know their own body. I learned, so how do I learn about how I can get shredded, how I can lean out, what I gotta eat. Let me tell you about something my dad, I don't eat sugar. Sugar, zero sugar, zero carb. And zero carb. Zero carb. People say, so, you know, let's get into this uh, <laughs> nutrition thing. Yes. What do you eat? So no zero high sugar, pro zero high carbs. Protein, what is it, high protein, no, it's not keto. The keto is a combination of a lot of fats, yeah. protein and vegetables, and all that yeah. stuff. And it has sugar, so that's some stuff. My stuff has zero sugar. Low calorie green vegetables yeah. and high proteins. Why? So people say, how do you get the energy? What happened to your brain sugar? Did you guys know protein can also convert to glucose? Amine? Glucose. Body is a protein, is a last piece the body will convert if it has to. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's the only thing that converts besides fat, calories, sugar, yeah. does not move your insulin high. And I said, like, how do you stay pumped? I said, listen, the best creatine you can get is from a steak, red meat. It doesn't blow you up. So I usually, not usually, most of always, have my pre-workout made my steak, vegetable, a couple of hours before. Uh -huh. The natural creatine and red meat is the best source of amino and also is a red blood cell building. Yeah. It's great. I've been doing this for years uh -huh. and it works perfect. Again, I'm telling you, it doesn't work for everybody. It depends on your body type, it depends on your uh, blood type, because if you have high cholesterol and all that. So, no sugar. Okay, so it sounds crazy. What is your, uh, how many calories do you consume a day? Okay, I eat about four pound meat between chicken, shrimp, a steak, and cod, or fish, whatever. Yeah. Four pound a day. A day? A day. That's, imagine how many, how much protein is that? Does all this protein goes to your muscles? <laughs> no, but I tell you what, some of them turn to energy which I get my energy. And again, getting the calories from the protein is totally different than getting it from carbohydrate and getting sugar. So if you ask me how many calories I say, I say, okay, one pound is- That's a lot. Yeah, one pound I say has a thousand calories, right? Yeah. But does it burn the same way when you eat the cal a thousand calories from carbohydrate? No, you know why? That is steak takes because about- body takes time. Eight, eight takes hours, time to, eight, to hours to, yeah, eight hours to digest. Yeah. It burns calories just to burn that. Yeah. Versus carbohydrate fast is so much quicker, turns to energy. Okay, so how many meals a day do you consume? Seven. When do you start eating? When Six, I wake up. Seven, eight. No, when I wake up, every two hours I eat. 
Uh-huh. But every two hours. The only time I'm missing my eating when I'm in the gym. So sometimes if I'm too long, I have a little meal with me in between. Okay, if uh, protein is the main main source of all your meals, it means that you eat all kinds of uh, meats, right? Red meat, chicken. I combine uh, them. I combine them. Fish and yes, uh, cod, turkey, shrimp, shrimps. Yeah, I'll combine them, and it's very important. Uh, you have to know where to eat what and how much, because let's say, for example, a steak is a low digestion. Yeah. Cod. So you try to take it in yes, the beginning cod, of the day. Cod. Cod and shrimp got so fast and leanest. Lower in the day. How about sometimes I combine them? I uh-huh. take a little shrimp, goes faster, yeah. the steak go for later. Uh-huh. And you need a lot of vegetables. You see, you gotta have a good kidney, you have a good liver. You clear the liver, you need a high vegetable liver. High vegetable, what I mean green high vegetable, asparagus, broccoli, a lot of them. I compare uh, uh, vegetables, mm-hmm. To the oil engine in, in, in the vehicles, in the car, I say, hey, fuel is your protein. Yeah. If you don't have a good oil engine, the car is not going to run. That's what vegetable does. So it comes down to 4.5 grams of uh, protein per kilogram of body weight. So uh, if you compare it to the average knowledge of bodybuilding science, Usually it comes down to two grams of protein yep. per one kilogram. Yep. That's, and that's, that's when they have also... That's when they have fats and when they have carbs. Carbon, yes. Yeah. So he takes all the energy from mm-hmm. protein. Go do ahead. you do blood work? I do. Yeah. yeah. There. The, there is one thing uh, that rises up. Uh, it comes from liver. It goes up when you take too much uh, protein and your yes, body cannot much, exactly. uh, you, process you need it. To, you need to make sure that's the thing. You need to make sure have good fibers. And that's what vegetable does. Oh, okay. So High vegetables, vegetables, vegetable, vegetable wash up everything. Consume, wash up. Okay. Yeah, wash your liver, cleans out your liver, your kidney. You can tell the way you go to the bathroom, the way your pee is, everything your body can adjust. Like, I've been doing this for years, not just today, you know what I mean? But of course, you just eat protein, all of a sudden, you're not having enough fibers and the liver goes into damage. Yeah. I don't even take protein shakes. I love taking protein for the actual meals. But again, you're right. Half the cleans out your liver. Mictosol, certain like uh, natural gre- ingredients in, uh, um, in the vegetables and uh, uh, greens that we have cleans up the liver. You need to make sure on that. And also, certain vitamins you need to take because you're not eating fruits. You know what I mean? So you have to have a knowledge. It was how is it is it dangerous beyond the five percent body fat? I said for you, yes, because you don't know what you're doing about the diet, about the health which is actually really good for you. There is this article you can find online. There's a lady who didn't eat for sh- sugar or carbohydrate for 25 years. She's 70 years old. And she's fine. She looks like 50. <laughs> she looks like she's 50. Sugar age, crazy. You gotta read about it. Actually, people say how you have good hair, good skin, because you can tell from the skin. One of the points that you can learn your functionality. You don't have carbs, you don't have sugar, so you don't have anything that holds water under your skin. That's why you don't yeah, yeah I, That's why I, it's actually so in, too. G- in general you see i never dehydrate and when you don't eat the sugar the skin shines the hair gets stronger and a high protein but it doesn't work when you take carbohydrate with it it doesn't work when you have sugar with it. Yeah. it takes time to body adjust you cannot just do ah oh, tomorrow i'm gonna cut this it takes a few months for just the mind understand because you have to train the mind hey you're not getting sugar anymore. You know what I mean? And you're fine. The body adjusts and learns to burn the fat, to burn the protein, to create energy. Oh, he's tired. He's in two hands. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a hand out. I was trying to be helpful and he made fun of me. That's how it works in fitness industry. This is what people do for a month. Conditioning. You get on a stage. My life is everyday a stage. Well, you know what? I don't look at it like that. Because I enjoy it, it's my passion, I love it. I look better, I'm 38, I, I look great for 38, and I feel healthy and a lot more energized. It's not the diet, short-term diet, it's a long-term lifestyle change for better and healthier life. Uh, miserable life. <laughs> Like an 
Chaves. A lot of people do it like this. I like to do it like that. So kind of pushing over here. It worked great because uh, it's already big. Already neat. <laughs> Just get a little more ripped. Small waist, wide shoulders. Once you get more definition, more line up, it's that's what I mean. Yeah. I need bigger. to get deeper. You see, there is yeah. no shape in and the imagine, arm. Even you get smaller in weight, yeah. you lighter, it looks bigger. You know what I mean? First week was gonna be a hell. If you hold up to 10 days, 10 working out days, you start loving it. And one month, just go for it, see how the transformation effect. In the beginning, actually, is really a, a lot because the body is not used to it. it it's like a, you're changing a, something huge in your diet. So yeah. All of a sudden, the body explodes. Like, function different. You're gonna eat different. And you see the fiber start like coming out. The water tension gonna go away because all this burning that you do. Have you ever competed? <sighs> Long time ago, when I was 17. Oh, back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. Right there, right there. Stretch more. Open it. Open the elbows more. Yeah. Take the shoulder out of the equation. Nice. You see that? Not popping. Go into this. I'm not up to 50 anymore. But I tried. Well, that's how I build all this. So, this is not for that. This is like a general that I do. I change them around. That's one of them. All right, make it work. So, what are we paying attention to in this one? You stay okay, somewhere you're... in the middle of the range. Somewhere in the middle of the range. This upper, upper muscles on the, on the abs. That's where it starts. This from. part right here. Yes, I usually do between 50 to 100. On this exercise. Like separate uh, yeah. chest, chest yeah. muscles. Separate chest muscles, yeah. So you got the person who never does abs huh? at all. You don't do abs? No, only before what? I do show. What? Like, uh, like one month prior to the show, I start doing what? abs. I don't know, I don't need it. <laughs> Girls are attracted to abs more than shoulders. You know what I mean? My, for men's physique is very important. Yeah, I know, I know. I like that, yeah, I need to do that. So. so Remember I told you about this stretch, which I usually start with this first. Like, this is a great exercise for stretching. Just hanging itself, stretch your abs muscles. Now twist them. I'm pressing, you're squeezing every muscle. But this one, stretch your muscle. Abs, you look longer. You just press them. You need to, that's what you need to combine. Press with stretch, same as the chest. Uh huh. There you go. Move along. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Try not to swing. So the ball ties, it doesn't let you swing. There you go. Now everything. Press it right here. Uh -huh. I want to show you this exercise right now. I invented it myself. You see a lot of people stand just doing this. How I picked it up, I picked it up in martial arts. You know, Muay Thai, you pay attention, those guys really has a really strong sides. Uh -huh. Because all the kicks they do. Uh -huh. 
So I use the same technique, this, going down. Yeah. I bring the leg up the same time. In. Out. So what this one do, we're standing just doing this, it works on the higher. But when you bring the leg up, it, it works the whole thing. All the way. Including lower part. From bottom. Yeah. If this part is a little higher, it gives you better angles. You can squeeze the whole thing as they smash in here right now. Imagine you're doing 100 of this. All this ribs getting pushed out, squeezed out. Another important thing is when you go up, you want to stretch your arm as much as possible. Stretch your arm and then push it in your back. Everything in here is stretched out. So you have a longer range of angle. Don't worry about it. This is the speed I do. 15, 16, 17, 18. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred. Every different angle I do, I see the muscle react come out different. So when you're like, you know, in low fat, you can see everything. Okay, so it's easier for you to easier target you, exact the muscle, attack, muscles. Okay, you know what, maybe I gotta do lift this one a little bit more, that one more. But when you're all fooled up, yeah. you don't know. You're just assuming. But when you're lean... You go by feel and oh yeah. what you think you feel. Exactly. Because when I'm lean, I can look at myself better, find the errors. Have you ever been thinking about coming back to competing? I'm natural. So I gotta go natural competition, right? You like natural, natural? I'm all natural, just through supplement natural diet. I never took anything. And I was like, why? I'm like, hey, you know, if you know, you're, you're small in your calves, if you do it, like, listen, it's like you do one time, you're dirty. You know what I mean? So I, growing up, I never did it. Kind of got pride. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna hold it more. So I see a lot of people doing it. You know, I don't, no disrespect. Uh, you know, of course not. And but that side of it, side of it, catch up to you years later. Through long range. Better. Better. And then when you come up. Crunch it. Crunch it. There we go. See, now he's working all the way here. All the pressure is right here. And he's going to do a big pressure here, right? Yeah. yeah. This is because of that. Get strong because in the martial arts. When you're not used to it, that's hard. In martial arts, because when you stand like that, a lot of kick happen here. Here. So when people kick you fast, they attack right here a lot. They bounce it with the muscle. They hit it. You just like, boom. They're like, you know, I don't care. Like, boom, hit it. Like, you know, have you seen that now? Maybe we just hit each other. Like, you know, yeah. left and right Muay uh -huh. So, this guy is so strong on the side. Uh -huh. the muscle holds the, holds the kick. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so, Res, thank you so oh, much okay. for your time. Appreciate it. It's completely different what you're doing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that uh, we might have some uh, hate as yeah. far as, uh, as well as the support of course this there's video. always disagreements and, and that's, it's, what it comes that's a good up thing to. because yeah, that's a good uh, thing. Yeah, argument will come up and yes. people will discuss and somewhere yes. somewhere in, in between people find something that works for them right yes eventually it comes down to exactly. what works for exactly. some individual exactly. thumbs up if you like this video and maybe we would we'll do another video with yes. Raz uh, for we arms. arms. Yeah, we wanted yeah. to do arms, but, but we started talking a fil lot. filming took so much time yes. that, that we decided not to. It was his first time. He gassed out. Okay, you it's know? not about that. No, <laughs> it was not the reason. Five so, life, guys. Five life. Stay shredded all year round. Russian, mother of Russian. You can find the link to Instagram of Rez down below in the description box, like yes. always. Sean Rez, S H A U N underline Rez. My mom's side from Norfolk Persian and my grandfather is Russian.